I'm Dr. William Starziak. I'm an osteopath that practices in Indianapolis. And the topic of this video is the fluid body. Now, this is a concept that I'd first learned about from Hugh Milne's book. It's called The Art of Listening. If you do any sort of body work, that's a great book. The, oh, sorry, not The Art of Listening. It's called The Heart of Listening by Hugh Milne. He's a, he's a Scottish osteopath. He has a whole... Um, course, like series of courses. He has a whole series of courses he teaches people. I've never taken his courses, but I have read his book, and in it he talks about the fluid electric body. Now, within osteopathy, we have the explanation of how treatment unfolds that's called a biodynamics of osteopathy in the cranial field. And that very beautifully addresses the fluid body comprehensively. Now, the fluid body is just a, it's a phenomena, right? We can, we can conceptualize it and describe it in these other ways, but it's just how our body works. So in this video, I want to help you understand that idea because it also helps you understand how we can get profound treatment results with very little physical force. I think the best play to be, place to begin to understand it, and James Jealous, the creator of biodynamics of osteopathy in the cranial field also highly valued this starting place and that's embryology. If we consider the moment after fertilization when we have the single cell zygote that it's a fluid whole and its metabolism uh, basically you know need the need for creating energy for breaking down substances to get that energy for reactions with oxygen to help form that energy and the need to get rid of metabolic byproducts, that metabolism actually drives the need for differentiation. So in order for the organism to continue to survive, it needs to differentiate. So we can see on this very small scale of the single cell that this need for like oxygen diffusion from the outside creates a force on the molecular level of substances moving towards the outside to meet the oxygen. And that's this initial force pushing on the limiting membrane of the cell that induces cleavage, separation into two cells. And then that separation gives a new line for fluid to diffuse through. So now you can get uh, nutrients and oxygen into both of those cells and you can get it in more efficiently. Whereas before you had to go from the outside of that circle, now you could also go down the middle when there's two cells. And then as it divides more and more, there's more and more ways for uh, nutrients and waste products to diffuse through those membranes. So on this level, we can see so much fluid when we look at the cell. When we look at a, a fully grown human being, well, we see the skin, and you know, the skin's not obviously wet. Right? We can look inside the mouth, the mucous membranes, you can see that there's fluid there, and we can pretty quickly intellectually understand that the body inside the skin is just bathed in fluid. Every single cell is in contact with the nutrients from your blood, the fluid and nutrients that come out of the arteries and then go back in through the lymphatics and the veins, if they weren't in communication with that, they'd be dead. So the only ones that aren't in communication with it are dead hair cells, there's the, you know, the dead skin on um, the outside of your skin layer, but every cell inside the body is in communication with that source of nutritive fluids and that means of waste removal. So in this way, it's very easy to see very quickly that our body is fluid. And we all know, you know, uh, by percentage, we're a majority water. Now, if we're going to treat the body effectively, we need to understand its nature. We need to understand this true nature of the body, of how it really works. And appearances can be deceiving, because we can look at the body and think that it's this solid structure, and so we should treat it like it's a solid structure. You know, the bones after someone's dead, they appear pretty solid and dry. But when someone's alive, those bones are wet. They're mineralized collagen, and they actually are flexible. They can, the femur can flex quite a bit before it breaks if, it's, if there's a lot of force applied to it. And there's just blood flow through the whole thing. 
So even this part of the body that we think is very solid is also subject to this fluid balance. So one aspect of health is this free flow of fluids. The nerves have fluid flowing down them, obviously the artery, the veins, the lymphatics. When we get obstruction to that fluid flow, now we either have a loss of nutrient delivery and oxygen delivery, or a loss of waste product removal, or both. And then when we have that, the cells aren't getting what they need, or they're keeping something around that they don't need, and so then dysfunction arises. Then we typically have some state of inflammation, or in severe cases, we can actually have atrophy of the tissues in that area. So when we're treating with the fluid body in mind, we have trained ourselves to palpate that flow and to start with where, you know, feeling that flow through the body. And as we can connect with that flow, well then the areas that are dense to that flow, where that flow cannot fully perfuse, become apparent. And then we can fine tune the structure to find the balance that reestablishes that flow. So basically we're balancing a lesion, we're balancing some pathologic strain that's kind of pulling stuff off from the original neutral. And when we bring it to its neutral balance, flow returns. And then when that flow returns, that's where the body can let go of the traumatically induced change in tension. It lets go on its own using these inherent forces activate it, the cranial rhythmic impulse being one of them and then it returns back towards neutral. So hopefully this explanation has helped you to better understand this concept of the fluid body. This is really just, as they say, the, the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot more uh, to appreciate in order to apply this to treatment, but it's, it's just such a fascinating way of treating, both being the patient and being the practitioner, and we just get such amazing results with it. Thanks for watching my video. Check out my other ones too. Be sure to like this one and subscribe to my channel.